the kind of films that I make, um, I can make pretty much by myself. And it's always been like that. I can just go off with my camera and my sound recorder and construct these things. It's kind of solitary, but so is most artistic practices. We get used to working in our studios alone. I've been making films about folk who live off in the wilderness. It would just be absurd to turn up with a crew of 20. It would go against everything that was happening in that space. So I spend time in these places, often on my own first, you know, and I carry a camera around. and So they just get used to my presence. And then we, we talk about what kind of film I'm going to make so that there's a lot of trust, I guess. The kind of studio-based research happens here uh, at this desk. Then the other big part of my research is in the field. I come back with loads of film stock, which I then process in my kitchen. Hang it up in the bathroom. And then I edit here on my computer. I originally applied to the Arts Council back in around about 2005. I applied for quite a small amount of money. I guess I didn't have so much to show at that point. So then they gave me the money and I made a really short film. I finished it successfully. So then the next time I went to them, I asked for a little bit more money. In more recent years, I've been able to ask for more substantial amounts of money for much more ambitious projects. You have to make a good claim for it. The idea, the way you want to show it, having some exhibition idea in mind or, or even like fixed before you make the work is quite an important part of an application. When you're starting out, it's kind of hard to find the time and the money to just make a short film. The Arts Council was a way of just giving me that kickstart, being able to make something in the way that I wanted. That's put me on the track to being a self-sustaining artist.